Alright, so this is the 2v2 game number 3 between UMBC and Randolph College. Um, <laughs> Siren telling me that he's bleeping ready at the beginning of this one. UMBC is playing all random uh, in this match. They are going to be playing against Karo, the green Protoss player, and Zavi Morg, the uh, purple Zerg player. And over here we do have our pink Zerg player, Siren. Uh, usually that would be the pink Terran player, but today not so much. And Ice is, is got has picked up his home race, uh, his main race, the teal Terran player, his opponents over here, the purple Zerg player, Zavi Morg, and his ally, Karo, uh, the green Protoss player from Randolph College, which is apparently a small liberal arts college in Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, which, I don't, actually, that doesn't help me much, because <laughs> I don't know where that is. Um, but anyways, this is week number 8 uh, be in the Collegiate Star League. Check them out, cstarleague.com. Also, their sponsors, twitch.tv, which I'm streaming off of right now, as well as uh, TT Esports. Check out their sponsors. Uh, they produce a lot of great stuff, especially uh, Twitch TV with all of the Esports stuff going up on there. Uh, everyone uses Twitch TV for their streaming, and over here Ice is building up his first supply depot. Not at the front, quite interestingly, and it looks like it's going to force the uh, green Protoss player to scout inside... Inside... Inside the base. Okay, well, he'll scout inside the base eventually, and uh, we have Karo throwing up his gateway right now up at the, uh, inside of his base. Uh, I, I'm surprised he didn't wall off because he knew his opponents were playing random. Um, but this probe is g still idle. <laughs> Four Kings Durable has left the game. He's a Grandmasters player from uh, the team Four Kings. I don't know if this interests him all that much. So it looks like uh, the fast expansion coming out of Siren, very standard here. Uh, should be seeing a spawning pool in just a few seconds. He is actually squeezing out a couple of extra drones. Uh, and there's a spawning pool coming up. Usually you get it on 14, but he did go up to 16 drones before making that. And as Avimor going for a fast uh, speedling build, or not fast, but a normal speedling build. Speedlings are fast naturally. And there's the Overlord from Siren uh, scooting across the field right now, and Zavi Morg scouting the inside of Ice's base. Where did that probe end up going? Probe is... Where's that probe? I'm looking for the probe. Uh, is that the probe? No, I already selected that guy. I guess I don't know where the probe is. Maybe it got killed off by one of these SCVs. We will never know, or it went home while I was not watching. But Karo is going up to a gateway, uh, two gateways, and a cybernetic score. Going to be chrono boosting out uh, Stalker as well as the warp gate research, which is which is all normal right now. We'll see what he's deciding to go for in just a few minutes um, as he builds up his tech. No second gas, so that's indicative of something that's four gate ish. Uh, Isis is building a bunker inside of Karo's main. Uh, I mean, uh, Zavi Morg's main. Looks like his SCV does get picked off. And he does have a Reaper now headed into Zavi Morg's base. And the Queen is sort of out of position. A couple of Zerglings could get picked off. And there's the Reaper. Going to start shooting away at a couple of those Zerglings. Uh, he will kill one and hop off the cliff and get back in here to do some additional scouting of exactly what his opponent is doing. This will actually keep all of the Zerglings back at home. And it also forced up a, a spine crawler. That's very interesting here. Um, I don't expect him needing this spine crawler against a reaper especially when he does already have a queen out and there's no reaper speed possible as of this moment two command centers out on the field for uh two command centers on the way for isis so this is a very fast double expanding from isis right now and we also have karo going up to four gateways and another gas um this is a little bit of a delayed a building of this second gas if he wanted to go sentry heavy a four gate but he does have his four gates up uh, and he will be able to do some damage uh, w as soon as he gets those reapers out of his face uh, this is exactly what's preventing them from moving out across the map right now those two reapers can do so much damage to a mineral line if 
their armies get too far out of position, so that's allowing Siren to drone up like crazy. Um, he's also got his lair on the way. He does have a roach warren. Um, also getting some creep tumors out in the field, a couple of roaches as well. So this is a already an able to defend a four gate. He's also got his uh, overlord somewhere. I think it checked through already, and the uh, t three reapers in here will be able to clean up a couple of these probes, and the probes getting pulled, but the reapers doing so much damage already. Uh, I can't actually pull up how many kills they have total, um, but it looks like three kills. And, uh, wow, this guy has 10 kills, so that's a lot of kills in between those Reapers, 13 kills in total. So that's a lot of damage dealt to uh, Zavi Morgs and Karo's economy already. And, uh, and the UMBC team is double expanding with Terran off of this, as well as getting a Ghost Academy and a Barracks. Uh, Siren here is droning very hard. Um, Right now, up to 54 food. Let's take a look at the units tab. Uh, he's got 32 drones out on the field already. Um, possibly headed up to uh, a lot more, uh, reaching the 40 count already. He's mining his gas at the natural expansion as well as two gas in the main. Um, so we'll see what he decides to do with that. Maybe go for some infestors. He does have Gleal Reconstitution on the way. Um, looks like they're pushing... No, Zombie Mork has made a lot of units and not really expanded and this is allowing the UMBC team to get really far ahead. Uh, the Ghost Academy is up and with a the personal cloaking being researched I wonder if we'll see nukes in the new, near future but it looks like the gold base being taken by Siren right now as well as being taken by Zavi Morg but the difference here is that uh, the UMBC team has actually Three bases just for Terran, and three bases for Zerg, and one of those Zerg bases is actually a gold. And he, they've been, they've had this essentially for the fast past uh, six minutes, completely uncontested. And um, this is going to be really bad for Zavi Morg and Karo, especially uh, because they haven't been able to do anything. And uh, these Reapers are still alive and well, and doing tons of damage here. They are getting poked away by that spine crawler. Looks like. They will be able to uh, scoot back over here, and these Reapers have so many kills. Um, let's take a look, if I could just select them. Four kills, and four kills on both of them. And it looks like the 10 kill Reaper has gone down. There is a uh, observer from Karo checking out exactly what where Irene's creep spread is. And um, it's the 10 minute mark, and the Protoss player hasn't actually shown any signs of expansion. So I'm interested to see what he's trying to do right now. He does have a pylon on the way, but nowhere near enough minerals to be able to expand. He's actually gone robotics facility off of this one base as well. Um, Siren now taking the gold base. He does have a couple of drones transferring over there right now. Also a queen at this location ready to do some vomiting. Another queen going to be popping out shortly. Siren moving all of his roaches into the center. And a ghost is moving across the field. It does have one nuke already. And another nuke on the way, I think. Was there a nuke launched? Oh, it's already... It's being tar is it being targeted? And the nuke is going to fall at this expansion over here. We'll see if Karo notices uh, he'd gotten an immortal out, but where's his observer? His observer is still sitting over here. Queen is shooting away over there, and the nuclear missile is going to land on all the probes. All the probes do fall for Karo. He's going to be completely all in now. There's no way he's going to be able to expand, and all the roaches are burrowed over here, ready to pounce on this Protoss army. There are four seals going down, but the roaches now creeping underneath sneaking right below and they do pop up and they quickly snipe down the immortal and all of the other zerg reinforcements now running in here trying to do some damage another nuclear missile coming down over here uh and it looks like that will fall on just the hatchery and uh the roach is now burrowing and retreating the forces over here are too numerous and it looks like a couple of marines as well as those units coming in a nuclear missile does land another nuke on the way four ices going to be landing inside of zavi morg's main he isn't paying attention right now he's trying to get this attack going on over here it looks like that nuke will land as well all of those drones falling and uh, finally the queen noticing and uh, looks like the attack force uh, is cleaning up the Protoss main right now and the uh, roaches popping up and cleaning up over here. There are plenty of roaches for Siren. Gonna hold that down. GG out of Karo.
and GG from Zavi Morg. This game goes to UMBC with a pretty clear victory, uh, nuking and uh, roaching. So we're going to be headed to game one to see um, if UMBC can uh, do a clean sweep or if that's going to be a forfeit as well.